Hey guys, my name is Alvin, and this is what we're going to be creating today in Photoshop CC. It's a pretty simple tutorial, uh, it shouldn't take you that long, and uh, let's have some fun! So, the first thing we're going to do is go to File, New. We're going to make it 1920 by 1080. And we're going to make the resolution 300 pixels. And click uh, OK. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is make a new layer by going down to the Layers palette, clicking New Layer. And uh, we're going to grab a color from here. And I think I'm going to use a pretty dark blue. So this looks like it'll work. Uh, it's 096 DAC. Click OK. Get the paint bucket tool. It might be hit under the gradient tool. So just drag it out and go down. Just click in the, the white box and it will make the blue layer. OK, now that that's done, we're going to make another new layer. We're going to go to our paintbrush tool. We're going to go up to the top where we can adjust it over here on the left side. And we're going to drop down the menu. We're going to put our hardness to zero. Our size probably probably around 500. See how it looks? OK, we're going to have to take this up to about 2,000 maybe. No, that's too big. Uh, let's try 1,300. There we go. OK. And we're going to make the color white and just click dead center boom okay now we're gonna go to our what do you call these things transfer modes <laughs> and we're gonna put this layer to soft light it's a drop down menu right by the opacity in the layers palette so just drop this down go to soft light okay then we're gonna go to our text tool. You can just push T or go down to text and uh, just click and I'm gonna write Alvin because that's my name. Um, all caps this. A-L-V-I-N Alvin. I want it to be a bold font. Um, that way uh, when uh, the text get, gets indented, it actually looks like it um, has some some depth. So you can actually see the difference between the layer and the background. Okay, so the first thing I did was I changed the color to a dark, b lighter blue. Um, I think it was uh, probably a lot lighter than that, but a little bit darker. So, uh, okay. I'll try 00B4FF. You can see right here, that's where it is. It's... Then we're going to double click this layer and go to Inner Shadow. And you can already see there is our effect. It's right there, but we need to do some things to clean it up and make it look nicer. I'm going to take down the size just a little bit, not too much. Um, I'm going to take down the distance and also change the color to a dark blue just to make it look more natural. Click OK and click OK. OK, so I think the, the text needs to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to open up the the color for it and just bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, that works. Okay, so that's yeah. okay, that's 0785BA. Okay, click OK. What we're going to do now is I'm going to click on this layer, which is the um, which is the light layer. Okay. Light. And I'm going to du duplicate this by clicking, by pressing Control J. 
and I'm gonna bring this on top of Alvin and I'm going to lower the opacity to about 50 or 20 okay that looks about good so now I'm gonna take Alvin and uh, I'm gonna do some effects with it I'm gonna push control T for free transform and I'm gonna rotate it and uh, this can be rotated however you want I mean you don't have to rotate it um, I just did it for this because I thought it looked cool uh, so just put it wherever you want and click the, t the little thing on top um, the check mark or you can just push enter and uh, there you go I'm also probably gonna make this a little more darker it's just a tad darker click OK and uh, next thing I did is I went to the pen tool <laughs> if you don't know how to use the pen tool it's totally fine it's pretty simple what I did I just clicked uh, click over here I believe I dragged that way like this click down there somewhere turn it and click again for like a total S we're gonna go back to our brush um, and turn the size down to something reasonable And uh, we're going to turn the hardness to 100%. And we're going to go down to our direct selection tool, click on the path, right click it, and uh, stroke path. We're going to simulate pressure using the brush tool and click OK. And make sure this is on a new layer because you do not want to like put it on your light layers or something like that. So just click OK. And uh, there you go. There it is. And now we're going to take the, the path and delete it. Or something like that there we go now let's delete it we're gonna double click on it go to glow uh, probably outer glow if I can find it <laughs> uh, we're gonna go make this color white that's what I did anyway you don't have to it actually might look better if you just leave it like that um, and just adjust the settings to your liking I would probably recommend not turning, you know, spread up any, probably keep that at zero. Keep Maybe turn your size up a little more, maybe turn it down. Um, I definitely liked it white. And uh, just click OK when you're done. And then you can move it to wherever you like. Uh, for me, uh, mine was like here and click command J if you want to duplicate it duplicate it and control T to free transform right click uh, flip horizontal yep. Um, okay. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.